There we go. Fix it up. Fix it up. Fix it up. All right. <laughs> hey, everybody. Thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit. You can call me Hiccup. And we are out in the middle of nowhere today. <laughs> uh, so, we're sailing around, and I've been looking for Hilder. We started the day up in our base up here, up in our plane space. I destroyed our boat. We packed up some some food, some new tools. I'll let you look around. I'll, I'll zoom in real quick so you can see what we're traveling with. This is all the new gear I'm traveling with right now. Um, we do have an arbalist. Uh, we lost a lot of stuff in the, la in the, last, in the last boss battle. Um, and I got to catch you up on a little bit of that real quick before we get to... Let me, uh, let me angle the boat real quick. There we go. Just a little more out toward the sea. Yeah, all right. Let's keep moving. So, yeah, last episode we got our butts kicked by the queen. And if you know anything about me, you know that didn't deter me at all. I'm determined to get back in there. I'm de very determined to get back in there and, and go another round with her. But... Oh, sorry, I'm getting hiccups already. I'm getting excited talking about the stuff. Um, <laughs> so I really want to get some of the magic leveled up. Um, I think the magic is really going to be important for that battle. Um, my play style is usually, like, whittle them all down, fight them one-on-one, -on -one, lure them, and, like, you know, fight one-on-one. -on -one. And that's really not going to happen with the queen, I don't think. Um, she can summon her minions way too often. I think the only other boss that comes close to that is... Um, <laughs> is the bone mass but still the bone mass does not summon half that much and if he does then it's just skeletons and slimes and you can use the potion resistance dude the broodlings and the seekers are ridiculous and we got mauled so quickly so i'm working on a new play style where i'm more focused on aoe and damage over time so we're traveling with the lightning spear it's been pretty nice I'm trying to level up the Staff of Embers, the Staff of Frost, and the Staff of Protection to get that Elemental and that Blood Magic up. We're having fun. The Arbalist is just there for fun. I'm not really using it too seriously. Um, and mostly I've been sailing around looking for Hilder, but we have not found her. I did land on this uncharted brand new uh, biome here. And I was recording, but nothing really happened. Um, I actually did record a whole episode before this, but literally nothing happened. Like. I mean nothing. Like, I gave the same spiel that I just gave you here at the beginning of this episode. And then, you know, I set sail and we haven't found Hilder. We haven't made any progress. I recorded for over an hour and a half. And we, we've done nothing but run, roam around in the, uh, in the meadows and kind of level up elemental magic. Turns out blood magic doesn't really level up if you're using the shield against those tiny little creatures. So using the, the blood, the magic shield, the blood magic against the... Um, against like necks and and four that really doesn't didn't do anything but slowly we're leveling up the uh the elemental magic and i'm really excited about that because i do i think we need to go into the queen's battle with a different mindset a more of a crowd control mindset so we're gonna have some fun level up these staves um we're actually gonna try and level them up because they're all level one right now none of them have been leveled uh the spear hasn't been leveled nothing because if you're new to the digital hermitage we leave our bag on the ground when we die and we died fighting the queen so we lost a lot of good stuff unfortunately and i did just like pack a bunch of new goodies too we came back and we made so many ooze bombs and everything and i went back and we just bam got our butts kicked and it was it was kind of overwhelming and underwhelming at the same time <laughs> But anyway, with that in mind, I did set out to try and find Hilder. Um, I am wearing the E-tier pants um, and some carapace chest and the helmet. Um, did go back to my yellow cloak just because I wanted a cape for some extra armor and looks, but I think we can and will remake that feather cape as soon as we can. What we really need to do is sail up here. I'm coming back up here for a lot. Of, there's a lot of mistlands up there in the north. Um, and we're going to go set up an outpost out there. And we need to just start gathering up more of the mislin stuff. Need to get more soft tissue, make some more refined E-tier. Need to get more carapace. I wouldn't mind finding some more uh, caves and saving up the royal jelly. You know, all of the above. So we're getting back into the mislins, but with this new diverse weapon set and mindset and some E-tier food. So we're going to mess around with the magics. We're going to change up our play style because, yeah, I think that's what got me in trouble with the queen. I have a very... I have a very strict, nah, I don't want to call it strict, but I've got a pretty solid play style. I really do prefer the warrior mindset. I like having a lot of health. I like having a lot of stamina. I like being able to counter block, and I like I like being able to get in there and hit a few, you know, get a good few hits in. But um, I'm thinking a more long-term fight, uh, maybe some melee once we clear out all the enemies around the queen. But I really do need some kind of, like, more infinite crowd control 
because that's what happened. We ran out of the bio bombs, we ran out of the ooze bombs, and stuff just got crazy. We also fought for over 20 minutes, <laughs> and the rest of the bonus needed to be reset, which was absolutely crazy. Anyway, I'm rambling way too much. Oh yeah, one more thing I wanted to go over real quick, and I'm going to turn the camera back around so I can see where I'm driving. But, <laughs> but um, one more thing real quick. I did, I was talking about loading up the build through world on a server and throwing it up, and I really want to do that. And I really want to start visiting other Valheimer's worlds. I would love to come visit some Wanderer's worlds, or have some Wanderers come and visit me in this playthrough. Any, any and all of the above would be cool. I've kind of like strayed away from that a little bit when I was getting started here on YouTube. It, it seemed like a lot, and my internet is a little is a little crappy um it's gotten better over the years we have better internet now um if you know any if you've seen my modheim playthrough my old modheim playthrough with timely um the first one season one you know that my internet was pretty bad and i used to just play with him and he was very tolerant of uh, playing with me and like letting the internet do its thing and some days it would work and some days it wouldn't but my internet is better now i i have had some wanderers and some other youtubers reach out and they want to do some collabs and i would really love to Sometimes it's tricky for me, and right now the test beta is really messing me up. That's what I wanted to mention, the build-through. Um, I tried to get that server up and running, and I tried to have a couple of buddies join it just to see if it would work, and it turns out I've done a lot of building in that world with the test beta, uh, the public test beta on and running. And when I tried to remove it, a lot of that work I had done disappeared. So I need to leave, the wor I need to leave that up. Um, it's actually making it hard for me to use a lot of mods um, to test mods and to try and collab with some other people with mods and stuff too because every time I remove that test beta I lose a lot of what I've been working on and I'm really nervous about it getting corrupted so with that being said I'm waiting until the test beta the public test beta is over and we're all running a very similar or you know non-test beta version of Valheim and then that server will go up and I also want to start a vanilla server for everybody as soon as all of this test beta stuff is done and we're all running a more compatible version because um, I know not everyone is running the test beta like I am. Um, whoa, we need to go around this. Okay, turn, 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 turn. There we go. So anyway, that's my ramble on that. I know I got everybody excited about it. I was excited about it. I get these big bursts of energy where I'm finally like, all right, I think I'm cool enough. Let's go and try and do this new thing. <laughs> so, you know, uh, bear with me, um, but it's going to come up. I'm really excited to get that server up and running, especially excited to get the other server up and running. I probably will end up playing on that server a lot more. Uh, this playthrough has been a lot of fun, but I do want to play with other people and gonna get on there with the Wanderers. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Anyway, I'm rambling too much, but yeah, as soon as the public test beta is over, we'll, we'll, we'll bring all that subject back up. I'm really sorry to postpone that again. Again, I'm just I'm just a little new to all the, I know I've been doing this for a few years now and I'm still learning. I'm still learning so much. I was never, um, I know it's gonna sound crazy, but I was just never on YouTube growing up. I never, I, I don't have any uh, YouTubers that I watch personally. Um, I just play and I explore and I goof off and I go into games not knowing anything about them. And I just love gaming and I love being able to share my adventures with all you wanderers. Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna get mushy again, but thank you guys so much for just supporting the channel and subscribing and watching and just making this possible. You know, it is, it is a lot of fun to share my adventures and just hang out with everybody. Also, again, if you're looking for tips and tricks, I don't really do that. You can watch me stumble through this and goof off and mess up and get myself in trouble and figure things out on my own. Or you can go and check out the comments below because all of my videos have awesome comments from so many amazing digital wanderers. So many people who just love Valheim and have figured out so many cool things. And there's so many different ways to play and so many different ways to like you know, just sneak around things or get the game to work for you in a certain way. Like, the comments are full of awesome tips and tricks. Be sure to check out every comment for every video. Give a thumbs up, a like, leave your own comments, let people know if, they, if it was helpful, because seriously, there are comments for every style of play that you could think of. And I love every one of you for leaving those comments, too. Like, that is just so much fun. That's so awesome. And uh, I hope nobody takes it personal when I don't, you know, follow some tips and tricks. I like to play my own way. I really do. And I know it can be frustrating sometimes, especially with me being as disorganized as I am. I think that might be one of the number one complaints is how disorganized my bases always are. <laughs> I'm sorry about it, but not really. <laughs> also, if I can if I can detour onto one more little thing, I, I have been having a ton of fun on Small Land. I know we're playing Valheim. Valheim's never going anywhere. I love Valheim, and there's always so much to do in Valheim, and we can have so much fun. Um, but... I have been having a ton of fun in Small Land, and I do, and I have been putting out a few more episodes on that. Hope that's not bumming anybody out. 
it's just it's just fresh and I enjoy it and it's a lot of fun and I personally think if you like Valheim you could probably enjoy small land too it's a lot of fun but we'll stop talking about that let's get back to Valheim we're sailing around so yeah last episode we did we sailed around a lot we started here sailed out this way check this place out sailed up through here all through here I think you caught up with me around here and again that was a really long episode of nothing so that didn't happen I didn't cut that together at all what we're planning on doing today is getting up to these mistlands up here. I really want to explore this mistlands around this mountain. I wouldn't mind fishing up in the in the frozen north. I wouldn't mind fishing around the mountain a little bit more. I um, wouldn't mind exploring the mountain looking for ice caves. But mostly we just need fresh... Oh boy. Uh, let's, yeah, let's swing this way. Mostly we just need fresh mistlands so that we can start getting all of our soft tissue, refined E-tier... Uh, carapace we need all the missile stuff again so we're not gonna we're not gonna move our base I'm gonna keep bringing everything back to our base so that we can keep farming up over here and I probably will still do some farming off camera like all these swords and stuff they have not been mined up so I probably will be doing a lot of that off camera so we can level stuff up and just get caught back up to what we were but again I've made double uh, doubles duplicates and I have all these extra weapons and stabs so I really don't feel like I got kicked back that far and again, I think I mentioned it in the boss battle, but I wasn't going to rush back in there and risk losing a lot of my others, a lot of this other stuff that we have created. Um, you know, because none of it is as strong, and that fight was ridiculous, and there was so much going on in that room. So we're going to go back in there one day and try to win it, but in a different way. And first, we need to train. We need to train our minds and our bodies a little bit more. <laughs> or at least the elemental damage. And probably the polearm. This is a polearm, correct? I'm going to assume it's a polearm, because it's got the at gear style attack, so... Yeah, polearms are only up to 13, so yeah, we're switching up our, our our mode of play, our style of play. We need to level that up. And again, I'm sorry if I'm kind of... Maybe I've repeated myself once or twice in this little intro, or in this first little, you know, part of the voyage here. Um, and if I did, I'm sorry. I, I Like I said, I just recorded the episode to this previously, and it was, you know, I think I said a lot of the same stuff. But I, I was, I, I don't know, I was getting into that one. We were getting into an hour and a half, two hours of recording, and I was just like, you know, nothing has happened. <laughs> so nothing has happened since we've been rolling now. You all have just been watching me and listening to me, and I love you for it. Thank you so much. Uh, if you do enjoy my rambles. If you don't, you know, I do have timestamps and chapters uh, in the description. Wow, sorry, hiccups getting hiccups really bad today. Um, <laughs> uh, I do have timestamps and chapters in the description, so you can always jump ahead past all of this intro catch-up stuff if you'd rather just get right into the teeth of everything. Um, but at the moment, we're just sailing up. Just going up. And I am looking to make temporary outposts in any of the mistlands that we do stumble into. Um, I would like to get back up here. We were really looking for Hilder just down here, and it's, it's just not happening. I'm not finding Hilder anywhere. I am tempted to just load this character into a freshly new spawned world just to find her, just to interact with her that way, because I don't know. I'm not finding her. I have literally checked the last couple of times that we've gone looking for Hilder. I have literally checked. Wow, that's a lot of fuelings. Um, I have literally checked. Not what I meant to do. <laughs> yeah, I have literally gone on and checked to make sure that I am running the public test beta. And I am! I've checked several times. Like, every time I go looking for Hilder, I think I have paused the game and logged out just to double check to make sure I'm running it. Before I logged in today knowing that I was going to record that first episode. Oh, we are not sailing through that mislins right there. No siree. Let's go around. Um, and I made sure I had it today, but I still can't find her everybody i just i don't know what is up but i cannot find her i don't know maybe the world i've maybe i'd already explored too many meadows i don't know that doesn't make sense i don't know what's up i don't know what we're gonna do with the hilder situation but we're moving on let's get up here into the mistlands i think the next mistlands we run into wouldn't that be the next one no i want to go i want to go more north i would really like to get up here to these mountains this mountain in the mists because it was just really cool to run into that really early game and uh, I would like to go back and try to conquer it. So anyway, that's enough of me rambling. We really haven't done anything, have we? We've just been talking and sailing. So let me keep sailing. Let's get a little more north. If I do run into a Mislins before up there, we will pull over. Because you know what? It is. It's just we just need to search them all. We just need to spend time in the Mislins. So yeah, the next one we run into... I think we will pull over 
explore, fight, level. We'll set up our little camp. We don't need a huge, we don't need a serious camp. It just needs to be a tiny little house with a portal somewhere near the boat. Also, this way, if I'm, if I am cruising around to a bunch of different mislins and I've got the boat with me, I can go fishing for more angler fish, which is really nice. <laughs> I am curious now, and, and don't spoil anything for me, but just give me a simple yes or no in the comments. Are there more meals I don't know about yet? Like, really, should I go fishing some more in the different biomes? Are there more meals that I am unaware of? Because I would love to keep cooking meals. Oh, here's a weird little tiny mislins. I don't know if I like this mislins, though. Because it doesn't feel like a real mislins. It's like a tiny little mislins with planes on either side. I don't know about that. Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay. No, this is a little bigger. All right. No, we're good. Let's go ahead and pull the boat. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we got this. We're good. We're okay. Oh, yeah. No, this is looking like a pretty good Miss Lens. Awesome. You know what? Let's pull over. Let's go ahead and dock the boat somewhere in here. Back in the Miss Lens. Let's put our helmet back on. Jeez, wheeze. Woo. All right, let's try to find a good parking spot somewhere. Oh, yeah, okay. Not bad, not bad, mists. Whoa! That came up out of nowhere. Let's get over it. Ow! Easy on the boat. Holy crap, Ola. All right, this is good right here. This rock, this is good. We're going to call this good. Right here. Stop the boat. I'm going to try and back it up just a little bit. There we go. All right, that feels a little safer. This rock is pretty cool. All right, hang on. Let me throw up just a little, little safe spot. And we need to go back and get our rested bonus. I haven't had a rested bonus in forever. Okay, got our little house, we got our, our boats all fixed up. All right, let's go back, get our rest of bonus, and then we'll run around the mislins a little bit, and see what we can find. Okay, rest of bonus is good. Gear's good. I swapped out for our wolf cave just to keep us a little warmer. I know we do tend to get cold out here in the mists. Wow, we picked a really bad spot to come out and camp at, huh? Oh my gosh, we have so much E tier and so little stamina. We have to be very careful right now. I did not realize that I'd eaten that. Okay, I'm about to change my mind on these mislins. Uh, this is actually pretty terrible, disjointed and 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 islandy. Let's let's get out of here. Ooh, careful. Wow, we're moving slow. I just saw the really harshly angled Mislins outcropping. And part of me is really hoping that that's a little dungeon. So I was really hoping for that. I was really hoping to go into some kind of dungeon today. Uh one of the infested mines that just really blow that place up with magic. I think that'd be absolutely awesome and a lot of fun. Is that one? The harsh angular like stone outcropping really makes me think that it could be one. I know we've seen a staircase leading up into that before. Yeah, this mislins was really maybe it's get I think it is getting better over here. This all looks much more solid. All right, maybe we could set up somewhere over here then. Oh, 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 crud. No, not looking like a dungeon there, but this is starting to look much more like a solid mist lens that we can walk around in. Let's uh, 
There we go. There's a little Verger camp. Maybe we could go set up with them. That actually would make a super safe little camp somewhere near them. Uh, we won't be able to actually... Whoa, what is that blue light? They got one of those wisp lights right in the top tower. That's awesome. Actually, we can't build in there because of their ward. That's okay. We could build nearby. Okay. Yeah, I'm hoping that maybe out in this direction or something. Yeah, that there's a lot more. Right, first things first, we need to set up a little hut. How close can we build here? Alright, so there's got to be just a little, little beyond... This is nice. There we go, and I'm going to mark this little camp so we know where it is. Okay. We got 15 minutes on the rest of bonus, so I wouldn't mind just roaming around for a minute. Let's take a look around. Yeah, I think this is going to be much better. Oh, gosh. We need to go back and see if I can make that cape. <laughs> we really do. Gosh, I feel like it's my first time out in the Mistlands again. Like, I feel so ill-prepared just because this is not, like, what I'm used to using. This is just not a, not a setup I'm used to running. I'm, I'm kind of uncomfortable with it. <laughs> Oh. Hello, hello. Do we have a skull? What is making those noises? Oh, we have ticks. Boom! No problem. Nice. Alright, let's mark this as a petrified bone spot. Nice, but I think I will honestly just go ahead and take the time try to dig in here. Oh no, stone. Oh, okay, that might take a bit. Alright, bone and tissue. Yeah, we'll come back for it then. We will come back for it. Let's just do some scouting today. Yeah, that's a lot of rock. We're going to have to take our time chopping through that. Ooh, water. Do not want... Yeah. We're, we're almost dry. Boom! <laughs> hey, this is probably going to be a pretty effective rabbit hunting tool. Nice. Come on, tissue. We need lots of tissue. I would like to get these stabs leveled up first before anything, really. I would like for these to do as much damage as possible because the meals that I'm I'm going to be using really don't allow for us to just constantly shoot magic. Um, might make some more E tier potions so that we can just, you know, replenish our E tier as soon as we use it. That would be pretty nice. That. I should not have made that leap. My gosh, this is the best. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is even more effective than the knives. This is ridiculous. We're gonna have, we're gonna make a bunch of mislin, mist, uh, mist hair supreme. All right. Hey, yeah, I'm hearing a y'all, y'all, y'all. I don't know. However you say it. I'm hearing him, but I'm not seeing him. That is a light. Is it another camp?
Nice. Oh, very nice. That's what I want. Help me out, boys! Oh my gosh. Get him! <laughs> Look at all the mages. I'm a mage now, too! Hi! That was awesome. Huh. Uh oh. Pew, 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 pew. Ooh, the ice works pretty good on them. Very nice. Okay. Well, yeah, this is what I wanted. Let's go in here and do some battle with the mage gear. We do need to be careful. We do need to be careful, so let's, let's be cautious. Let's play smart. I am not tanky like I'm used to. Oh, and we had to have the smallest E-tier meal, didn't we? Oh boy. Go time! Oh, they knocked me out. <laughs> How many times have we done this dance? Ooh, out of magic. Out of magic, okay. Oh no! <laughs> nice! Uh oh, oh, crap, crap, crap. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Woo! We're okay, we're okay, everything's okay. Let's just get back upstairs. Oh gosh, okay, we're okay. Everything's okay. Oh, we don't even have enough to use that. Okay, that's fine. Nice. Yeah, look at that damage over time. That's awesome. <laughs> no? Ah, you can hit me from down there, but I can't hit you up here. Get out of here. Open up this door. Kaboom! Kaboom! <laughs> Can I eat the other meal? Good, good, good. This is better. This one's way better. We need to make a ton of these. Is this the... I think it's the Seeker Aspic. Yeah. Or actually, I think the Yggdrasil Porridge is the best one, isn't it? Whew! Oh my gosh. Well, this was crazy. Am I seeing what I think I see behind there? Oh yeah, give me a black core. Oh gosh, get it off of me. Bad ticks, okay. Okay, whew. Don't like ticks, ticks bad. Is that a dead end? That's a dead end, okay. Wow, this is so much flashier and blinding than other play styles. Like, it's kind of ridiculous actually. Just a, a little bit. Go ahead and hit me. Oh, we shattered the shield. All right, 65. Get the shield. Drop down with the pole arm and AOE a few times. Oh, crap. New plan, new plan. Lure that upstairs and fight it one-on-one. -on -one. Holy crap. Ha! 
Ha! We did hit him. Have another fireball. <laughs> what do you want? Uh oh. Uh oh. He's coming up. Come and get it. Let's dance. <laughs> Always entertaining. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Get him. Uh oh. Boom! That popped the shield. Gosh, he's still not tall enough. Gotcha! Woo! Oh, look, another one! <laughs> Alright, let's do this. We've turned Valheim into a shooting gallery. This is hilarious. This is so fun, actually. You know, I don't care about the tick trophies. Everything else, though, is like, yeah, we're getting some good material right now. Hello! Another one, huh? <laughs> 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 wow. All right, you want to dance? Let's dance. Hey <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Oh, hello. Oh. I think a uh, seeker was actually backing him up, hitting him, hitting through the. Oh yeah, that was rough. That hurt a good bit. Nice. Oh ticks. And broodlings. Oh my gosh, knocked us out again. <laughs> That's all right. Probably worked out for the best. Let's have a potion and get back in here. Hello. No, you don't. Yeah. Ooh, ticks. Gotcha! Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Seeker soldier. Burn, baby, burn! Hey, get out of here. Nice. Oh, yeah, you think you're all big and tough? <gasps> you tough. Okay, you tough. Oh, my goodness. So used to blocking, too. It's a habit I have to get out of. Oh, he does not like... Oh, we're hitting him in the butt, too. Nice. Yeah, that's a habit I have to get out of. These stabs do not have a very high block rate. Nice. Right on the butt. Gotcha. What? Oh goodness, 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 oh goodness. I'm really, really unsure as to what happened there. How many things did we just get hit by? All right, let me take a breather. Oh my gosh. So many ticks. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. There we go. More ticks. What is going on? More. You better be cranking through the levels. Oh, ow, 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 get him off me, get him off me. What is it, what is it, where did it come from? Where did you come from though, really though? <gasps> One star tick. Nope, 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 nope. Get it off, get it off, get it off. That's the worst. Oh, the, the one stars and the two star ticks are the flipping worst things. Your health drains so fast it's obscene. Gotcha! <laughs> Get out of here! Okay, he jumped right up into that one. Good, good, good. Woo!
Gosh, this place is busy. Did we get rid of that seeker? All right, we were we went into this room and got surprised. It's looking like a dead end. Okay, okay. Hey! Bad broodlings. <laughs> You guys hear that noise? Run! <laughs> nice. Look at all the fireballs. Oh, no, you don't. Come and get it. Bad tick. <laughs> all right. Whew. Yeah, no, definitely have to change up the way I play and the way I fight. But, this is pretty darn effective. Oh. Against crowds, yeah. I am feeling it. <gasps> A new queen location out here? Well, how cool is that? That must mean this is another pretty good mislins. Don't care about the tick trophies. It gives me hope that there is a lot to do out here. And that hopefully we will find a whole bunch of stuff. Alright, there have been a couple of secret rooms I want to go check out. Yeah, we've found several secret rooms already. But we haven't opened any of them. I think one of them was up here, right? No. This was a dead end. That was a dead end. Okay, no. So, yeah. Just down here. But we found two already, which is pretty cool. I feel like only one per dungeon is usually what I find. Secret room. How cool. Whoa! Oh, man, though. That's usually a ton of coin. We have to. Okay. Um. You know what? I grow these. I'm not worried about it. Yeah. That's pretty cool to find another queen location. Oh, look. More black core. It would actually be so nice to find enough black core in here to actually have enough, like, to set up multiple, multiple benches. Oh, yes. I think we do. I think we have five now. Awesome. Maybe we can make another E-tier refinery. Poison resist, maybe? I don't mind that. That's not bad. All right. I think that was it. I don't remember seeing another hidden door back here anywhere. Oh, but we do have an entire downstairs to go check out. Let's be careful. This staircase is a problem. Hello? <laughs> nice. Uh-oh, the Seeker's coming up the stairs. Can they destroy those stairs? Like, can we be trapped down there? Because that would be the absolute worst. Hello? done. <laughs> Perfect. Heck yeah, there we go. <laughs> Let's just keep this up. Gosh, that E-tier comes back pretty slow, huh? I guess we are only wearing the one pair of pants for the E-tier. Elemental magic up to level 14. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we really don't need any seeker meat either. That's whatever. Oh, he, he's going to be surprised? He doesn't know we're here? Surprise! Oh my gosh, I think he can. I think he can destroy. I would rather you not do that. What? Yeah, get away from the stairs. I don't want to be stuck down here with you. Woo! Uh-oh, stamina. I didn't realize we were in any we were no longer rested. That's not good. It's 
Slow him down. Nope, that didn't slow him down at all. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize we were no longer rested. This is a... This is a... Oh, this is risky. Bam! Right on the butt. Gotcha. Ah, okay. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. And fun. Seal breaker! I guess we need another seal breaker if we've got another... Uh... Another queen lo spawn location. Oh no, seal breaker has to come with us. What do we... Yeah, we don't need the black marble. We can gather that as we go. That's what we're doing anyway. Woo! Another seal breaker, another black core, another secret room. Guys, this is like one of the best little infested dungeons ever. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. How many did we just get in this one? Seven in this one dungeon. That's fantastic. I'll take the free poison resists. What more? Eight? Oh my gosh. That has got to be the most awesome. Wow, eight of them. That's crazy. This has got to be one of the best infested mines I've come across. I think this one's cleaned out, though. I think we're good. And I'm feeling pretty tough. Elemental magic is up to what now? 15? 14? Blood magic is slowly raising. All right, so using that and fighting out here is pretty cool. I'm just not a big fan of it. Like, gosh, I know that sounds terrible, but... I just, I don't know, the blood magic makes me so nervous. Cutting that much of my health out? Like, I'm already cutting my health down uh, to make room, you know, for the meals. Uh, so I can have stamina and, and eat here. But when you ask me to cut it down even more because the spell requires me to use more of my health? Like, oh my god, like, come on, please no. <laughs> All right, I got to run this stuff home. We're, our inventory is super full. But I am still a little disappointed. I really, really would like to find tissue. We've only found one tissue so far. So I'm not completely upset. Like, we definitely have found one tissue. And we will come back and get that. Because we are going to need... I do want to level up these staves. I I'm already doing pretty good with them. Like, I feel pretty tough. Hello. Hello. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I mean you no harm. <laughs> Hey, hey! Ah. Wow. Uh oh. Hello, seekers. Nice! That launched them away. The pushback is sweet. Crap, 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 crap. Whew. Oh, yeah. World saving right in the middle of that fight. Thanks. Thanks, game. <laughs> you know, and it doesn't really seem to matter if you tweak it. You're like, no, you know what? Only autosave every 10 minutes. Like, it's still going to happen at the most inopportune times every time. And we may have a couple episodes of this, of me running around the Mislins, leveling up these elemental abilities, uh, playing mage, you know, cooking the foods. We may have a couple of these, because we do need the material. I'll try and do as much of the... Uh oh, there's, there's what we don't want to mess with right now. I'm not feeling confident enough to... Ooh, why are we going up this way then? Yeah, I don't want to go mess with the Jal right now. That's not really what I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, we might have a couple episodes of this. Definitely want to train this up. Whoa, what is that? Oh, that's my portal. Yeah, okay. That's what we're looking for. Perfect. Hey! Ooh. Pick up. Be very careful about tossing that back down here toward the Vergar. All right, yeah. Let's go home and recoup a little bit. Oh, man. Time to fix up some gear. And empty the inventory a little bit. Where am I keeping these? Uh, I think I was keeping these cores in here. Yes, I was. Ten! Oh, 
Oh my gosh. We should keep these in there actually too. That makes a lot of sense. Boom, boom. Oh my gosh, look at that. Ten. We have enough for another E tier or another Galder table and another uh, Black Forge. That's... Oh, that just makes me happy. That just makes me happy. Okay, let's... Uh, we've got plenty of food we could dump. How are we stocking up on Carapace? Not bad. We could probably level up some of this armor. Ah, but I'm not going to yet. Nice. All right, I do want to make some more Seeker Aspic so we can keep having our magic around. So let's, let's look up that recipe and make a few of those. Or no. Well, let's let's do a comparison real quick. See if you're asking. 85 E tier, 28 health. Pretty good. Yep, nope. Seeker Aspic is the best. All right, so for Seeker Aspic, we need Seeker Meat, Royal Jelly, and Mage Cap. Absolutely easy. Yeah, do you see how much of this stuff I have? Holy crap. And then, you know what? Let's not even pull the Seeker Meat out of there. I usually stack up the Seeker Meat in there so I can make more meat platters. But we have so much secret meat in here. Yeah. Let's make a ton of this stuff real quick. I know I've, like, absolutely spammed a lot of other foods uh, recently. I'm going to spam this real quick. Let's make, what, I don't even know how many. Whoa, wait a minute. Yeah, I had 50. I wanted at least 50. There we go. Yeah, because we had a 50 mage cap and 50. Uh, yeah, let's just burn through these guys. You, make, you get two a piece. Um, so actually the recipe is soup. So it, it says two of each, but you get two a piece. So I mean, this is this recipe is actually like one of the best. Let me make sure I'm not making crap up. Let me check all the other E tier foods. Yeah, the mushroom, the uncooked stuff mushroom was not nearly as good, I don't think. And the porridge is not as good. I'm just going to make a bunch of Seeker Aspic. I'll make one mushroom, stuffed mushroom at the end, but I think that one was less less potent. I think this is our best E-tier meal. This is the one we need to live with. Heck yeah, we did. We just made 50. That's amazing. Feeling good about it. Let's go ahead and sort this into the into the chests here. Need to do that again with salads. The salads are salads are a little tough to keep up with. I won't lie, um, just because they 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 wear out so quickly. You know, they only last twenty five minutes um, compared to the 30 of everything else. So you do need a couple more of those in your inventory at all times, or at least that's how it feels to me. Well, all right, everybody, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and let that wrap up today's episode. That was a lot of fun getting out into the Mistlands with our new mage gear. Um, next time we'll be hopping right back out into that same Mistlands. Uh, where did we end up? Uh, no, really, where did we? Oh yeah, out here. This is awesome. I love that there's another queen location out here. I'm hoping that means this is a really big, really big um, uh, Mistlands. Um, yeah, next up, we're probably not going to take too much time between this episode and next episode. I might just make up some more meals and salads and try to restock on some arrows. But really, we didn't use the Arbalist too much, so I think we're pretty much good to go. I want to just get back out there and keep scouting. Let's keep leveling up this magic. Um, let's keep uh, looking for infested mines and gathering up the gear. Uh, mostly what I'm looking for, though, is tissue. I would like to take one more episode and run around and try and scout out as much of that tissue as possible so that I can start farming that a little more off screen so that we can get more of that refined E tier and start fixing up our staves and leveling up those. Uh, let's go see how much refined E tier we have left over. It's not a whole lot, but let's give it a, let's check. All right, so we have 40. Um, I, I might make another 20 for the cape. Gosh, I do want it though. Like it makes for such an easy, it just makes, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. What was that? 10 feathers. and some random amount of mist hair. Yeah, let's just do it. That It really does just make exploring and surviving in the mists just so much easier. It really, really does. You know what? Let's just put the wolf cloak on here. <laughs> that actually looks awesome, the red outfit with the wolf cloak. That's really cool. 
I don't know, for running around the... I might try to level up this armor, too, because that armor would be fun for leveling, um, for helping to level this magical gear. Um, but right now, I'm just wearing the trousers, and I still feel pretty wimpy, even with the helmet on. We're only up to 80 armor, which makes me feel pretty wimpy. I feel pretty safe here in the... Uh, I feel pretty safe here in, in the plains, so I might spend some time and try to level up some blood magic. But again, like, look, we only have 113 health. I can't even use this staff. It costs so much. Man, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, though. We need to level it up. So, yeah, next time we'll just be running around that same Mislins, trying to gather up more goods, slowly leveling up our gear. Mostly we just need that tissue, though. So let's see if we can find a few more skulls in the next episode as we scout. And this is really exciting for me. I don't know how everybody else is feeling about it, but this is actually really fun. Like giving up my old play style, moving on to some different weapons, finally giving into this magic because I can see how it's going to be super useful in the boss battle. And already I've seen how it's been pretty useful in the caves. Like having to fall back on the melee definitely helps because the stamina doesn't disappear while you're using the magic. You know, you just throw a fireball, but then you still got a full stamina bar to fight with. So actually like mixing it up a little bit feels really good soften them up with the magic at a distance and then get into the actual like melee combat as soon as they get up in your face it is a little risky it does make me feel a little um a little glass cannony but i feel like that's what the mage stuff is supposed to do and it feels pretty well balanced like i do fear for myself while i'm using this stuff but it's a lot of fun anyway everybody i'm just gonna keep rambling i hope you're having <coughs> I hope you had a lot of fun hanging out with me today and experiencing all this cool magic combat. I'm still getting used to it, still wrapping my head around it. I need to do a little bit of food grinding off camera, but like I said, we'll be back real quick. I probably won't take a huge break between episodes. I want to get back out there and keep scouting so that I can do some grinding off camera because we need that tissue. But hey, everybody, if you had fun hanging out with me today, do me a favor, smash that like button. Be sure to subscribe if you want to continue the adventures in Valheim. And I hope everybody's having a great day. Have a great rest of your day. I hope I see everybody in the next episode. <laughs> Let's go find some more tissue. I better start cooking, though. What do we need to make? We need some more salad. Let's make some salad.